Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Mm -hmm. How is everybody doing out there? It is Friday. Let me close down some weird windows that popped up when I pressed some buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> um, Ghostbusters music, yes. <laughs> kind of led us into the show. Just random music on the internet that I'm playing. Hello everybody out there who's uh, tuned in today live on Twitch. And hello everybody watching this on YouTube where a lot of people watch afterwards cool. they tune in cool. and you can see our names above i'm james and i'm tanya and uh let's say hello to everybody that's watching live hello. um <laughs> tiki dan k arena foot ice bosta uh mr fix and those are the people that have come in so far and all the people who are lurking in the background mm -hmm. just watching not saying anything <clears throat> um we say hello to you too mm -hmm. And thank you to um, Tiki Dan K for subscribing again this month. He just resubscribed a few minutes ago, <clears throat> and you can do that too. Um, if uh, you are a part of Amazon Prime, you can link it up to Twitch Prime and just click subscribe, and it costs you absolutely nothing, and it supports the channel. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank everybody who um is subscribing on twitch atari spot a tasty sandwich charles and check gretums ground trooper ice posta mr fix muddy funster retro happy hour and tiki dan k of course thank you thank you and we're gonna be playing two <coughs> games today um and uh usually we play more but one of the games is more than one game the first mm -hmm. game is um just an early work in progress game called Air Taxi, mm -hmm. and we'll get into that in a bit. And the second one is called Pinata, and it's actually a collection of mini games. So it's um, five small games in one program. Cool. Um, and the small games are called Heartbreak, Ping, Joyride, Fixer Felix Sr., and Flipside. And that was put out in 2014, and the other one was put out in 2017. Mm -hmm. Pretty recent then? Yeah, pretty hmm. recent. The other one hasn't been worked on in a while, but uh, maybe we can encourage the programmer to <laughs> get it going again. Yeah. Sometimes it does work. People hmm. getting some, getting interested in it, showing support hmm. and giving ideas, feedback on it. Um, so, yeah, the uh, in the news, I was talking about the Collector Vision uh, Phoenix system. Um, you weren't there but it's a it's a new ColecoVision um, mm. that's using an FPGA which is a hardware emulator of sorts like it's a chip that emulates hardware okay not a software emulator it's doing it's a, it's a hardware emulator. hardware emulator so yeah. um, and I it was a Kickstarter and I uh, what would you call it put in for it, pledged it, Pledge, pledged for yeah. it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Donated to donated it. Donated to it. You don't really, well, if they don't deliver anything to you, you definitely <laughs> did is, donate it, to it, them. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Bought it, you know, um, promised to buy it. Um, actually, and somebody, uh, there, people were talking about it. Of course, it's all over the place now. Mm -hmm. um, but there may be an option in the future to load Atari, an Atari 2600 software, hardware onto it. Hardware, okay. Right, the, emulate the hardware of the 2600. Mm, okay. So it may be more than a ColecoVision. Mm. And it does have DB9 ports because Colecos have the exact same plug. Um, their joystick is configured a little bit differently and there's more buttons on it. There's like 12 buttons, one through zero and a star and a number, just like a, gotcha. a telephone. Yeah. Um, and I think I saw uh, Albert from Atari Age first talking about that. Um, uh, yes, yeah, we'll we'll get into um, why I don't have a cartridge for Pinata. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we get to that, people are already ahead of me, of course. Um, and I we did a poll last time, okay. an online poll. I'm going to do another one right cool. now. Yeah. And this one is, what is your favorite type of Atari 2600 homebrew, mm. like um, genre mm. of, of games? So I'm going to put that up right now. Let's see if it works again, because it worked pretty good last time. Yeah. Start the poll. There we go. Very cool. Um, there's the options. And you only get one choice this time. 
only one. Yeah, so you have to pick out of one of the seven. Um, the seven ones I came up with are platformer, um, puzzle games, which you like a lot. I know yes. that. Uh, adventure games like RPGs, anything where you go through screens, collect items, you know, fight things like that. Um, action games, you know, pure just shooting or mm -hmm. punching or kicking or, you know, one on one or one against multiples. Um, no, don't put the, don't put the hashtag, just put six or just put three, just, just type the number <laughs> or maybe that works. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, shoot 'em ups. Or shmups. Gotcha. I do like those as well mm -hmm. quite a bit. Um, single button games, that's kind of a genre in itself. Kind of came from um, tablets and cell phones where you just press one button and it either shoots or jumps or does something like that. And that would be like um, Wall Jump Ninja. Wall Jump Ninja, yeah, yeah. Um, what are s that other game where you're running along, oh my God, along the rooftops? What was it called? Do you remember that one? Jump, Jump VCS, mm -hmm. Endless Runners. That's kind of the genre as well that encompasses single button. What are you just smiling about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, oh, you've you I voted. You voted. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Of course, puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and seven yes. other, you know, things I didn't, um, couldn't think of a category for. Just mm. something that falls into something Something else. that doesn't quite fall into the main category. I suppose it says, what, where does Millipede fall? Possibly other. <laughs> possibly other? Possibly shmup? Uh, possibly a shooter? It's kind of a shooter, but it doesn't move. Uh, true. Um, yeah. I would say more action, because there's a lot of things going on, but it is a shooter. Mm. You can pick which one it falls under, mm -hmm. or other, you know. Because, um, and Millipede's not a homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I specified homebrew because homebrew games are a little different than what original games were um, in the Would you 80s say they're and 90s. less arcadey because people are kind of porting yeah. over games that are more current, which are less like the arcade games of, of yeah because yesteryear, yesteryear, <laughs> yeah. Um, long ago. <laughs> yeah, because the original 80s games used to be single screen. Yes, and nothing changed. It just kind of got faster and faster. Yeah, and new homebrew games are more like a lot of scrolling. Yeah. A lot of platforms, jumping, multiple yeah. screens, mm -hmm. RPG, very little RPGs um, mm. that were yes, made that's back. True. Uh, there's like Adventure. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Maybe yeah. maybe there's one or two mothers, other yeah. ones that were kind of RPGs, but Adventure was pretty much yeah, the only big there one. There wasn't much in the way of scrolling. Very, scrolling very Scrolling didn't really happen few. all that much on the Atari. No, I because it was think. very difficult to do horizontal. Mm -hmm. Not too bad to do vertical, but usually they would just have your ship static and things would come down and you'd just kill off waves of things. Waves of things, yeah. Haunted House RPG. I never really played Haunted House, but I guess that had different rooms. Um, Not a platformer? Uh, no. no, not Haunted House. I don't, no. I don't know that game. So. <laughs> um, I, bar I barely know anything about it. You're like going through... Uh, a house with walls and you kind of have a flashlight and you can but i won't say any more thing more than that because i don't really know mm -hmm. much about it yeah shmup is shoot 'em up mm -hmm. yeah so, sort of like a shooter it's mm -hmm. a shooter usually i looked up the wiki definition and it is a scrolling game normally but i'll give any kind of shooter i'll classify it i didn't want to say shooter because that's kind of confusing nomenclature it's like, oh, you shoot a gun in it. Well, that's not really a shooter. So I, I went for shoot 'em up. So let's uh, take a look at uh, what the polls are going at. Oh, we've got the winning is right now is on action games. That's sort right. of just a, that's kind of a catch-all. Mm -hmm. Anything that doesn't really fall under that. <laughs> I supposed to minus four. <laughs> no, I don't want to vote for four. <laughs> put it back to one. I don't know if that's working. It didn't. Uh, it didn't put anything under platformer yet. I think once you put it in, it goes in. You can't change it. But I'm ah. pretty sure I've enabled uh, being able to change it. Um, Interesting. So I don't know. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm locked. Yeah. Locked in at number four. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe I'll find a better um, voting system. This one's kind of 
a little bit limited. Simplistic. But yeah. Simplistic. Um, so let's get on to the games. The first one is, uh, yeah, me and I are supposed to both voted four. Mm. Okay. Four, four is up there. Yeah, four is up there. Mine, mm. I'm torn between uh, shmups and platformers, but I'd probably like go sh pl a platformer mm. because I get a, a lot more enjoyment, like a longer play out of it. So I'm going to go for one. There we go. Mine registered. Good. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have a four-way tie <laughs> with so far. Other people can vote later, but um, platformer, puzzle, adventure, single button, and then action is winning with 33.3%. <laughs> so let's jump into playing some games. Yay. And the first one is not... You can't really play it, unfortunately, but it's an early, early work in progress. You can't play it? You can play it, but you can't <laughs> really, really play it. really get very far in it? Yeah. No, you can't get far at all. Mm. Um, and it's called uh, Air Taxi. Okay. And for people who have played, uh, who had a Commodore 64, they may have played what this is kind of um, porting, but okay. it's not really a port because it's going to be really too hard to make it on the 2600 but i'm going to show the game that it came from and it is called space taxi mm -hmm. i don't know if anybody uh out there has oh the cat is going to jump on the mixing know, board on don't you do it come here oh that bad cat um so let me oh, i can't click there let me play this and switch over so this oh let me just rewind it just a little bit so this was um space taxi for the commodore 64 and i played a lot of this game oh did you yes yeah um so let me just put on the sound for a second here So can, there um, you can. Um, what you are is your. What you are is your attack, okay. and you go pick okay. up and you go pick up and people, deliver them to and deliver them to different locations on the screen. Like you see on this one, on this one. There's pads one, there's pads two, one, three, two, three. And right now he's and delivering. Right now he's delivering pad one. Somebody's pad one. Pad one, please. Pad one, please. Pad one, please. On the bottom. Uh, on the bottom. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Deliver them. Deliver another them. Person and another person and comes. Another person comes. Warps out of existence. Warps out of existence. And now he's to go get the other one. And and the really cool thing about it. The really cool thing about it. It had speech in it. And not just, and and not just yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. Um, so it takes um, so that, that person and that person. And if you person, deliver and enough, you people, deliver enough people, you get to go to the next you stage. You get to go to the next stage. Okay. And there's also and there's also the money. faster you do the faster you do it, the more money you the more money you get. So you, you, could, so you could take your time, you take your time, get no and tip. Get I guess no that would tip. be tips. Because nobody's going to pay zero dollars. I guess if they're bad, I guess if they're bad, five hours to my destination, my destination. And the last person takes the last person screen, which is a screen, which is a different looking screen, screen. And, um, and yeah, um, super fun. Yeah, that super is cool. fun. That yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's and it's very doable. Very doable. On the, on the Atari twenty six. Atari twenty six. It's basically it's you, basically you, you're the car. You're the car. That's one player. That's one second player. player's the, second player's the, the guy that you pick up and drop off. And drop off. And the rest and the rest is, is a play field. And you just and move you just it around and drop them off and drop them off and pick them up. And you would have and you would have to use. Another player, another for like player one, for two, like one, two. That's easy. Four, but that's easy. Multiplex it. Multiplex Because usually, because usually there's only you. There's only you, and not the and not the guy. And the guy stays. The guy stays still. Stay yeah. still. And he's yeah. never and he's never on the same level, level, same level as a number. And you could plan it. And you could so plan it. Out, so it would be, be like no flicker, like no flicker ever. But you do have to have landing. You do have to have landing gear and everything like that. Um, um, super fun, super fun game. Let's just close that down. So somebody, um, taxi, taxi, taxi in space, space. Uh-oh, was there an echo? Oh, because we're talking. Sorry about that. <laughs> we're talk our talking goes through the computer, which also broadcasts out and echoes back to us. Yeah. Um, so somebody proposed this in the Atari Age forums, 
Um, has any uh, BNE Jeff in 2017 January mm. has anybody ever attempted space taxi on the 2600? I think the 2600 could do a pre pretty decent version of it. Mm. And Kylarian um, said, uh, like four days later, damn, this thread really got me thinking. I don't think a true port of the original game is possible. There are just too many objects, taxi, passenger, fuel pad, target pads with numbers, level specific objects. Like mm. as you go up the levels, there's other things as well. Yeah. I don't really think that would be too much of a problem. Mm. Um, or it would look really ugly, 15 hertz flicker, even worse. Mm. But a game uh, heavily inspired by Space Taxi would certainly be doable um, with its own level design tailored for the VCS's strengths and weaknesses. And then he goes on to talk about um, more technical aspects of it. Mm. So let's boot up and take a yeah. look at what uh, he came up with. Oh, thank you. And I don't have anything for today. Let me load it up. <laughs> I, I got everything done except for that. Uh, oh my goodness, that's terrible. Over. Luckily, these things are like the smallest thing ever. I was just thinking today the the two big things i do work with the smallest files and the biggest files uh that you can pretty much work with on a computer mm. a couple of days ago i transferred a 50 gig file over the internet to somebody wow. and these are like 4k files yeah <laughs> yeah so like really small and really big files um so i'll just transfer today's stuff over I'm looking forward to hearing the echo in the uh, YouTube. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just have to remember to go back and check it out. Mute us or, you know, yeah. one or the other. It you happens. Can't have both at the same time. <laughs> because I mute what we hear, right? Uh, let me do this. 2010, 10, 12. correct way of doing dates and pinata <laughs> right hi that's how computers can sort them mm -hmm. if you do it any other way they can't sort them and done very very quick thank you for your patience everyone thank you for holding <laughs> hold down the second button good Okay, now we're ready. Now go to 1012. And taxi. So this build is from, as you can see, February 22nd. Yeah, go down to it and start. Mm -hmm. Atari is here now. And this is a PAL game, so it's going to flash crazy for a second on our screen, but they can already see you dying. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, oh, let's get some sound going to the people out there. Uh, so inspired by the recent Space Taxi thread, I've started working on a game with the working title Air Taxi. It won't be a faithful port of the Space Taxi, but heavily borrows from it, meaning the gameplay will feel very similar, but the level design and several details will be different. There will be two types of kernels, one for asymmetric levels, unable to display high-res graphics, apart from the taxi and the passenger, and one for symmetric levels with an intelligent object multiplexer, allowing for more high-res objects like bullets, snowflakes with minimal flicker. Both are designed to have no empty scan lines and be able to display dynamically changing playfield graphics, i.e. levels with moving walls or doors opening and closing. Hello oh. Wade Rain, welcome! You don't need your landing gear on at any time, so you don't need to press the no, button. No, no, but uh, I, I couldn't, it wasn't kind of going left and right. Because you had your going... landing gear on. Because oh, once you engage, oh your, engage, your, <laughs> engage your landing gear, you can't move left and right, just up and down. Just like the original game was. <laughs> and there is momentum. There is so much momentum. <laughs> it's like I can't, I can't readjust. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Atari the Cat is here now terrible you're gonna have to play this game <laughs> made it yay um i finished a proof of concept of the asymmetric kernel note that the graphics and level design are only a placeholder 
For those who don't run it, want to run it in Stella, the opening in the vertical wall is moving, and the top of the ring where the passenger is in alternates between open and closed. You, well, that's it says you cannot move the taxi around, but uh, he, this is his first iteration. Slow down! Ah! Can yeah, you, but you can't. Yeah, you can. You can press down. To slow down? Yeah. Up. No, that makes you go down. Yeah. Well, yeah. when you're speeding up, you can press down to stop going up. Yeah, but it wasn't the going up. It was the going right that I was trying to slow myself down. Oh, uh, well then press left. Oh, God. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's very sensitive. Oh. Yeah, he definitely made a hard... I'm not sure. It could be this... Practice level. This joystick, too. No, it's not. It's a hard level. <laughs> yeah, you can't go down. What? You just You just float. Really? Yeah, it's Press very down. floaty. Press down. There you go. Yeah, but you're you. It doesn't stop your trajectory, if that makes sense. <laughs> if no, you're going like left, if your you're going... momentum is very strong. Yes, it is. You have to hold in the opposite direction. When and then you then you ricochet back. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just saying it's not easy. I can't even get in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah, I can't because I can't slow down. I'm moving so fast at that point. <laughs> get through um i said uh because i posted to him a um, year and a half ago i said this is awesome oh my god so loud Talk. um i said this is awesome i would definitely buy this game i implore you to please have support for atari vox plus so we can hear hey taxi and pad three please that would be amazing um, and Kyleran Ky 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 said uh, back to me the next day, I'm glad you like it so far. Actually, my current plan is to include speech, even without the need for Atari Vox. Since I'm going for 32K, I will have the ROM space to, to add Hey Taxi, Thanks, Up Please, and similar samples directly. Because there's not very many. Um, there's only like Hey Taxi, Thanks, Up Please, had one, two, three, four, etc. Nine, and um, if he's going for a 32k, I think there's been lots of examples of <laughs> of speech in games now that um, you do it way too late. You because like the, the only second. way to get through now, is to actually go. move very Press quickly. Press down, down, down. There, there you go. Oh. The, the only way to get through is to kind of push it. Yes. You have to. You, you have to, you have you have to, to slow down. down. I just can't get through in time. Because <laughs> you're just so floaty. You almost want to, you need to sit there. Yeah. Well, such a sample is played, visuals be, will be reduced to a minimum, however, probably only showing the border of the playing area, what am I, the taxi, and the passenger. What am I doing then? I what just do went right through them. Oh, no, you can't pick them. Oh, so you just get in. Yeah, that's as far as you can go oh, in this no. proof of concept. Yeah. Um, well, that's not very Air taxis. <laughs> Air Taxi is a bit on the back burner at the moment because I'll have to finish my 4K demo for the revision Easter demo party first, but I will start development in earnest after that. I'm slowly refactoring the code for NTSC right now, however, and will probably ask some stupid questions about PAL, NTSC, PAL 60 for cartridges on this forum soon. Um, but unfortunately, um, he has not returned to do any work on this since this build in February of last year. So you did make it into the circle. I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made it into the circle. I went right through the guy, and I was like, what What was the point? <laughs> you can't even pick him up after all well, of that. He's not on a pad. I know it's proof of concept, though. No, he's not on a pad, so you can't land on it. Well, yeah. He's just because sitting in the middle of the circle. In the original wanna... game. It just keeps um, going, so... Um, they're all on pads, and then you land on the pad by putting your, um, yeah. oh, you twisted the... I didn't twist anything. <laughs> <laughs> twisted the ball right off. <laughs> that might, have, that might explain <laughs> some of the issues. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, you're more controlled. You've obviously played this game before. It is, oh. it is very sensitive, though. It is not easy getting in that sort No, of no, it's not. There you go. Get him! Get him! You can't land on the bottom? Um, maybe. I, I, I couldn't land on I don't on, think on you can pads. land on anything yet. No, no. you just die. <laughs> you die if you hit any, any play field. Oh, I wonder if I can go at the top, actually. Let's see. Gret, Mr. Fix and Gretems are cheering you on. 
Okay. <laughs> nice. Up I go into infinity. Oh, you oh, wrap around you came eventually. Oh, you the bottom. That's awesome. And the fuel works, actually. The fuel? Yep. Because as you use it, uh, as you press, you can run out of fuel. Mm. You may not die when you run out of fuel in this con in this version, though. Let's see if I can make it all the way around. And then continue going. Oh, you did! Oh, you can! So there's another challenge. <laughs> in the work in progress version of this. Oh, you're making a, You're disturbing him, huh? Oh, I like to disturb him. He's so gonna get he's, crazy. Oh, he's a oh, oh, no, no! Oh, oh so close. I just gotta crank it the other way as soon as I pop out the other direction. Yeah. Luckily, I can play PAL games with this because the Frame Meister is able to accept PAL mm. and then it just converts it over to 720p. Whoa. Oh, I did it! Okay. Oh, the fuel change color. Ah, oh. oh, and death. Let's see if I can run out of fuel. Oh, yeah, you're running out. Pretty fast. Fuel is nice with that fine decay level. Yeah, it's really smooth um, fuel decay. I um, wonder what that's, how they did that. <laughs> um, probably a combination of play field and a player? Or. Oh, you're and. Nope. Oh! Oh, you <laughs> That's oh, awesome. that's awesome. I like that's that. That's how it should be. It's you just, just you just die. Run out of fuel. And when you sink. Um and they they that's don't have awesome. the uh the tip or the the amount counting down yet. Oh, but for the it has the money, but the it money does have the doesn't money. change. And it does have your total money. Yeah. Um which you never ever receive. No. What a frustrating game. Nope, you don't get it. And it has lives. Yeah. So it's got six lives right now. That's very cool. Fuel is nice. Mask with the ball. Yes, most likely it is the yeah. ball there. And I do like the pattern, the background, the colors. Yeah, very um, nice. So pretty much all they need is the speech. Um, being able to land. Yeah. I have a good name. Space Uber. Oh, no, <laughs> you don't you don't want to use no company Uber? names. Oh, come on. Air Taxi's pretty good and generic. Yeah. Cuz then you're not going to run into problems with the original game's name. Space Uber, Space Lift. <laughs> Space Lift. Space That's more Lift. like an elevator maybe. Yeah. Um, but really good start and I really really want this game to keep wow. happening. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine landing, picking them up, having them yeah. to, to put them on other places, oh, going yeah. through portals and, could, and moving things. I mean, you can just have different levels, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, to, you, you pick up and drop off a few times, and then it's a different screen. Then you, go, and then you have to make your way off. out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like you have to go at the top here. At the top, and then the next level. And then you loads. go to the next I can level. totally see that. Yeah. Yeah, it would be, be a fun. huge hit. Yeah. Amazing. And, and it sounds like. This game on the Commodore 64 is near and dear to your heart too. You, oh you yes. obviously played it a lot and really enjoyed a it. Lot. Yeah. yeah, it was How amazing. old were you when you played this game? Oh well, when did it come out? It came out in um, probably be a couple a couple years after it came out. Am I crazy? Is it? You're crazy. Why is? Oh, I see. Don't, you have to. You don't have to press the button. Oh, I see why. I'm having trouble. <laughs> Space Taxi, let's open it up. So this was put out by Muse Software in 1984. I probably played it in 85 or 86. So I was um, 12 or 13 years old. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, made by John F. Kutcher. And there was originally 24 different levels uh, they wouldn't be able to make the exact levels but this uh, I suppose says I've done the smallest sample to a 32k digitized popcorn song isn't that one of your favorite songs <laughs> I even uh, it even has some TIA notes that sound like mumbling speech <laughs> 
Yes, it's, uh, well, hopefully this guy continues on, and then I'm supposed to can help him out with uh, the digitizing music? the speech. Oh, and, and the, the speech. music yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next game. What are those little white things at the bottom there? Oh, he said those are uh, placeholders. Um, oh, those, so something will be there. Yeah, those are going to be used for something else. Those are the missiles. Um, actually, he could use, um, instead of drawing out the number, he could go with, like, replicating. Oh, did you fall through the floor there? Yeah, it took a little while. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So there's a little bit of work to be done on um, um, hitting the play field, like um, crashing into the play field in certain sections. That's funny. But even a work in, con work in progress, obviously, is a little bit fun. Mm -hmm. Just kind of moving around and flying around the screen. Well, see, so yeah, finding the, the bugs that aren't really bugs because it's not really a game yet, but... <laughs> Yeah, they're bugs. Still fun. You have to make sure that <laughs> Still fun. no matter where you crash into the play field, it's going to register. Yes, as a, as a mess up. Okay, we're done. Right. We're done. We're done. We're done. Um, we're going to switch over uh, to Pinata now. Excellent. Pull down the second button. And it has to reconfigure because it was in PAL, so I keep holding it down. There we go. Back to NTSC. So let's go back to 1012 and Pinata. And this one was released after the cartridge version. This okay. is an updated version. Okay. Past the cartridge. And what, fixed is, a bunch what of is the issue with the cartridge version? Um, well, looking through the games, let me let's see if you can figure out what what happened. So there's Heartbreak, um, Ping, mm. Joyride, Fixer Felix Senior. Phoenix, senior, yeah. Uh, and Flipside. Now, which one of those can you guess that a company would have a problem with? Probably flip side, but I'm not sure. No, that. Oh, <laughs> is there a Fixer Phoenix game? Fixer Phoenix Senior, and you remember the? Now, what was the what was the movie called? Oh, oh, Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph, oh. and the video game in there was Fix It Felix. Junior. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said. Right. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have put those two together, but it makes sense. It makes sense. Yes. Um, so let's go to the first. Actually, yeah. If you wait, it'll show the um, credits, Excellent. which is a very nice scrolling uh, credits there. Mm -hmm. By Cybeard, Technicals, Omega Matrix, Revenge, CG Gruff, The Golden Axe, a whole bunch of testers. A lot of names I don't recognize. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, so this was first posted about in um, 2013. He said, I decided to release a compilation of games that I made in my half year or so working on Atari 2600 goodness. It, up it includes updated versions of my four original games hmm. and as well as a fifth new game. So I guess he released these separately and mm. then wanted to put it all together. Yeah, Fix It Felix mm. Jr. Um, I really like the scrolling. Yeah, yeah it, it does looks look really nice. Yeah. Really, really nice with yeah. the colors and everything. So let's go to the first one, which is Heartbreak. Mm -hmm. There you go. And see if you can figure out what's going on while I load up the manual. So your little heart in the middle, and there's a little bouncing ball. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Just in time there. I have played a little bit of each of these. So, Heartbreak. Bounce your way through 16 challenging levels in this original arcade game about color. Um, oh, so this... This has... Oh, high score support for Atari Vox. Okay, no voices, though. Did gotcha. you do it? Yeah. Awesome. Um, Heartbreak. Are you in the mood for a relaxing game, is it? a hard game, or a competitive two-player game? Heartbreak is all three. The goal of Heartbreak is to clear all the colored blocks from the screen. Match the right ball color to the blocks, but watch out. Some blocks need to be hit multiple times, and some can't be cleared what? at all. 
You control the blocks to the left and right of joystick or gamepad by turning the knob on it or by turning the knob on a driving controller. To clear all the blocks, you will often need to change your ball color to the heart's oh, color by pressing the fire button. That's why. <laughs> if there's no ball in play, one will be made. You get three lives for each level, and the heart shows your remaining lives. If you lose all the lives, the game is over. Tip, if you find the color match matches confusing, just remember how colors in the finger paints work. Oh, the finger paints? <laughs> weird. weird. There's a color table, and there's a big chart here on how it works. Um, scoring, 25 points, uh, match ball to block color, 50 points, uh, or a life gain, gain an extra 50 points for each remaining life. So you start out with three on each level. <laughs> Panic time. Oh my goodness. So it's your ball color that's not your heart color. So that's kind of confusing. Yeah, the heart just... Beats pumps. in different colors. Yeah. What happened? Well, I don't know. It's Maybe you can only button. change a couple times? It doesn't say anything about that. No. It just says it you wouldn't... can change it by pressing the fire button. Yeah, it didn't change. Maybe you can only change it on the heartbeat. When it's red, you can only change it to red. I don't know. But I wouldn't change it now. Uh, 50 points per bounce. Gain 50 points for the max number of bounces you kept without losing a ball. Minus 50 points on normal difficulty. You lose 50 points if your ball goes past the bricks. Minus 200 on hard if it goes pa past the bricks. And a life. Oh, jeez. Points are given at the end of the level um, for the lives. Oh, yeah. It's only when it's that color. So it's probably best to clear out all of one color first um and then it is change? a little bit easier but <laughs> i'm not barely uh, making button, it the button changing the color is a little off i think it only changes when your heartbeat is that color oh missed it damn it no it's good uh yeah the color changing is a little weird when, uh, two player mode. When in play in two player mode, the goal is to have the higher score than your opponent by the end of the game. The game continues until a player loses a level. Mm. If one player loses before player two, the second player will get a chance at the same level before the game is over. Players one score is displayed in red, player two is in blue. At the end of the game, the final scores of both players will be alternative, alternately displayed. Score flashes yellow, the game ends in a tie. Oops. So is two players simultaneous, or is it back and forth? <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> it's like the new version of Breakout. Very simple and cool. It is very simple. It's like a circular and Breakout. Cool. Yeah. And it adds another dimension to it. It's like how flat earthers view the world. <laughs> Have you ever seen the map oh, of how flat earthers think the world is? No. Oh. It's it's a flat table with an ice wall all the way around, and an they ice think wall? the ice wall is Antarctica. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Which is an impassable. Well, nobody's gone past oh, the wall, that's and that's funny. how they explain being able to fly around the world, like going from one place to the other. But it still doesn't make sense because somebody can fly around the world continuously. Oh no no, because North Pole is in the middle top. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they explain it. It's still ridiculous. And then you ask them about, well, what? About, why are all the other planets round from, for, as we view them from us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they seem to rotate, and they rotate too. Yeah. They're like, no, they're round too, or or, or only they are round, and we're the only flat one, mm -hmm. or something crazy like that. Well, it's like if you look at planetary. Uh patterns and motions in the sky right it, it, they 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 go on these insane paths ah they go on these insane paths uh, if we're static and yeah, they're moving right that's so, the, the original view of our solar yeah. system is the, and that's how they went paths. yeah no this makes no sense right have you made you've made it to level three yeah. oh yeah it's hard level three is hard <laughs> well and also yeah, I don't know if, as you say, the heart beating is when it changes color. Oh, I moved too fast. 
after this, after your game, we're going to play with the paddles, which I think will be easier. There. I think it does depend on the heart. Yeah, you can only change it to whatever color is beating at the moment. Red, there you go. That would make sense. Yeah. But that's when you have three colors, it gets very... It gets really crazy. Yeah. Oh, and when you launch it... It depends on the color. Yeah, no, no, color. yeah, for oh. sure. <laughs> ah, so close. It's, you know what it is, though? I don't like this controller because I hit it and it moves too. If oh, I hit it a little okay. too hard. So the, the paddles might actually be a lot more kind of accurate. I think they will be. These are infinitely spinning paddles. These are the driving paddles as opposed to the racquetball paddles, are they called? And those go hit a point. These are for driving. You can. Actually, that's kind of weird because driving ones, there's no infinite steering wheels, right? They say driving on it, but when you're in a car, you can't spin your wheel infinitely, but these are the ones that spin infinitely. He died immediately? And you never know which way it's going. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but that's what I mean. Like, I, I, I think the paddle will actually have more fun control. <laughs> Oh, oh, you wasted your last life. Because I tried to not. change it. No, I tried to... Yeah, if it goes off the screen, it doesn't kill you. Blue. Blue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's... There you go. Yeah, there, but it, there's only a certain speed it moves. Right. So. That moves pretty quick. You're doing it one at a time. Yeah, because it's not very, it's not very, <laughs> it's not very accurate, right? <laughs> How many lives do you get? Well, no, it, no it can go off the screen. That's what I just said. If it doesn't hit anything, you don't die. Oh, it's what? only if it if, if it hits something of wrong oh, color. Oh, you just lose points. Yes. Oh, okay. You don't lose points. You don't get anything. It says you lose points. You lose fifty points if you. Um... There. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you have the tennis paddles and the driving paddles. If you ever played Indy 500, you would understand the reason behind the no stops on it. Mm. I have not played Indy 500, but I'm just thinking about the naming of it. Like driving. Can you turn your wheels infinitely on a... Oh, you have to hit them more than one time. Oh, jeez, oh, I my moved God. it back. <laughs> It's okay to be yellow? Yeah, because it, it has Not to be now. hit more than once. Wouldn't it be better to switch to red? Because... It's actually really confusing. The brown and the red is really messing don't, me don't up. Don't do yellow. No, no, yeah, you... Don't only do red. Oh, no. now they're changing to yellow. Yeah, no, oh, you messed it up. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't know what you're going for. Yeah. I didn't even know how it worked. No, I, was like, I don't. Oh, they're all I don't red. either. <laughs> it would have been better just stick with the same color. It okay. would have. Yes, I know. Tennis. The tennis paddles make sense because if you're playing tennis, you can only go like so far up and down oh. like pong. Oh. Um, you hit the edge, and that would be the edge on each. But naming them driving paddles, I don't know what you could name them otherwise. What's something that spins? No, we're going to play with these. You're not going to play? Not like that. Yeah. I've played it. So now we're going to play with the paddles and see if they're... Mm. Two-player? Yep. Excellent. Well, I don't know how two-player is going to work, whether it is going to be... I don't even know if these paddles work. Oh, I don't have the Atari box plugged in. That's why it's not making any noise. I'll change that. It's making noise, it's just not talking. Uh, yeah, it's humming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pinata. <laughs> NTSC. Oh, I would think it's probably called Pinata because... You hit a pinata, a whole bunch of stuff falls out, and these are all the things that fall out. Mm. Um, you might be player one. No. Oh. You are. 
Oh yeah, it's really easy. Yeah. Much easier. It's a little confusing at first which direction is. Well, oh, there where we go. things are turning, yeah. And and I found with the red and brown ones in that last level, I was like, it was making me a little wiggy. Like, <laughs> where, which way is it turning? Like. <laughs> right, until you've opened up a... Uh... A yellow or you put put a reference point there was well, something about the red it and makes the... sense clockwise is clockwise yeah like, Psst. bad cat <laughs> he's, he's playing with cords yeah. and that's a bad thing see you spin it like that that's awesome yeah that's better and you never know which direction it's going to bounce yeah off to. it's not very uh Although this is very touchy, so it's kind of the opposite. It's the opposite issue, yeah. But I'm surprised these, these, this paddle is doing very well. Like I've never, I don't think I've ever played a game with this paddle. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's go for blue. Oh, my God. That was close. Yeah, it's almost too sensitive. You're over spinning a little. <laughs> and that's the problem. You start to overspin. Yeah. At least it's not jittering because it would be impossible to yes. play this. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want that. No, 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 no. Actually, it's best to leave it just go into Just do space. everything. Yeah, it is actually. Let Rather it go past than, than try and bounce it against something with the wrong you lose color. Good job. You're kicking butt. Well, it's. I think it is easier with this. Sears called the driving paddles race paddles because the Sears version of Indy 500 called race. Mm. Yeah, they the Sears version of the 2600 named all the games because they put out their own games for some reason. Okay, so stick with a color. Is what you're... Well... It makes sense. If, because if then you it's die, actually, then yellow. picking the other color means you have more options. Like, uh, if, you picked, yes. if you died and picked yellow, you'd be knocking out the yellows and hitting the browns. Yeah, if but then that you have more sense. than one color. You have three colors at that point. To yeah, but that's not, that's not that hard. Yeah. It's like you, you're less likely to make a mistake because whatever you hit will be okay. Ah! There you go. Ah! ah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It, it is an alternating two-player. I was hoping there would be some way of both being on the screen. But it's you, and then when and you... And if I die, but then didn't it's you. But you, you lost a life already. You have to play a whole round, then. I get... Oh, we didn't even set it to two-player. <laughs> that would explain it. How does it Because you've know? died once, so... Yes. Or lost your... Yeah, That's okay. No, we'll, we'll quickly play a two-player. Or you lost your ball. I can't remember. Did I get Good it? Good job. Yeah. Ooh, just in time. Just got it. Now, what do we have in store this time? Mm, greens and... So I should... Is it giving me a green? It's not even giving me a no, green. So oh, that's a two... It, yeah, the brown. Layer. It doesn't give you a brown either, so... Oh, no. You have to see what happens. Send it out into the world and see what happens. Blue. Probably blue and yellow make green, right? What? Blue and yellow make green. Red and yellow make brown, maybe? Oh, now the chart comes in handy. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Blue and yellow. Blue and blue, yellow. So you could so you hit the greens with either blue or yellow, and then hit it with the opposite color. And the brown you have to hit with red or yellow. Oh God. Yeah. I can't remember that. Yes, I used poster. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that. <laughs> hit the yellow. No, I'm too scared. <laughs> Doing all the browns first. Ah! So it's kind of eliminating one color out yeah, of it. Yeah, it's and then the mixture to... of colors. Yeah, you're pulling the colors out. Okay. Let's try two player. If we can. How do you know? I don't know. It didn't say how to do. Oh. Oh, that must be it. Can you press? No. What is white? That's weird. Pause. Must oh, be a pause. pause. Game select doesn't do anything. Oh, bye, Wade Rain. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. 
See you next time. I don't know how to do two-player. Let me see if there's anything in the instructions. It, it didn't automatically well, do it, of course. Uh, two-player mode. When played in two-player mode. Okay. How? Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> it doesn't tell you how to put it into two-player mode. Oh, menu. What? Two player. Oh, there it is. It's in general. Set right difficulty oh. switch into position A and reset game. Oh, now it's pink on the bottom. Okay. Um, hard mode is left position. Okay. So we'll play this for a little bit because we both played this game. So how is it with the uh, spinner? A it is better? more sensitive. But it's more it... sensitive, but easier, I would, I think. A little. It's different. I still feel like. Hi. Hmm. Hi, Tari Cat. So I think our poll, yeah, action one. Oh, that was good. With great. Uh, 33%. Oh, it's my turn? No. Is it? I don't know. No. Nope. Maybe after you finish the level, it's my turn? Yes. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. So you do a whole level. You right. do. Okay. That's actually more fun. It is because yeah, you, you wait you for the other a, person. You, you complete a whole level first, so and then it's based on... on your points in a lot of ways, I guess. Right. So at least you're both on the same level. Mm. No wine today. Is it wine? No. no. It's vodka soda. <laughs> oh, vodka and soda. Uh. It is alcoholic. Mm hmm. It's an adult beverage. Mm -hmm. It's blueberry vodka. Blueberry vodka? Yeah. Oh, uncolored? Because, oh, that smells yummy. <laughs> and smells like vodka. Which smells like almost nothing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, good. We're done. We're that's done. my turn. No! no, no. <laughs> I want to play with the paddle a little okay. bit more. Okay. I'll read about the general game then. Pinata. What's your type of game? Do you prefer action or arcade? One player or two player? Challenging or extra hard? With Pinata, you have it all. Uh, select from five games in the Pinata collection. Heartbreak, bounce your way through 16 challenging levels in this original arcade game about color. Ping. Own the night as Ping the Bat as she uses echolocation to navigate dark caves, eat bugs, and avoid hungry owls. Oh, it's my turn? Yep. And yellow. Ooh. Ah. Sensitive. Yeah, <laughs> it is sensitive. It's nice because you can spin it fast, but bad because of that. Yeah, you can go a little too quickly. And the switching colors when it gets a little hectic is hard. It is hard, yeah. Because you have to wait. For it to yeah. switch. You definitely want to pick a color and go with it because you yes. can't really switch them quickly on the fly. Or not easily at least. Not easily, no. Yeah. But the good paddles job. are a really good way to... Um... Yes, the paddle is perfect. This is a perfect yep. paddle game. Perfect paddle game. Yeah. Anyway, we can move on. If you oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You played enough of that? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'll play... I want to I wanna go back and play it some more. Okay. Atari! <laughs> Panic cat. What I do. Come here. The rest aren't two player-ish games so we'll just sure. play one at a time for the sounds, rest of them sounds good so we have the atari box in there we have the atari and the atari Ooh, and the atari oh <laughs> the rest are happy. joystick games <laughs> freaking out yeah uh, freaking out he'll be back he's always back yes yeah Where's, there's the atari box There we go. Pinata. So the next game we're going to play is Ping. So you go ahead. All right. And I'll dive into the instructions. Uh, darkness is all around you. Uh, somewhere in the black, you hear feathers rustling. Your mortal enemy lurks. Undaunted, you beat your wings and charge into the din. Your rumbling stomach gives you all the courage you need. 
you play as a little brown bat named Ping as she navigates through dark caves using her echolocation pulses to find tasty insects and avoid hungry owls. Move Ping using a joystick or gamepad and send out echolocation pulses by pressing the fire button. You get three pulses for each stage. Really? Because I've done a <laughs> lot of pulses. If you run out, each extra pulse will take 50 points off your score. Oh. On the hard difficulty, you're not able to send out extra pulses. Oh. Switch that back to B. Um, avoid cave walls and owls. If you hit a wall or are caught by an owl, you will lose a life. Lives can be re regained by eating insects you will find in the caves. Once all the lives are lost, the game is over. Tip. Mosquitoes give you enough strength to beat owls in a fight, but that strength doesn't last forever. So there's you, um, the owl, the remaining pulses down on the left. You have one left. And your score, which is 50. Uh, and your remaining lives, which is in the bottom right. Oh, you got yourself into a corner there. Now you're back down to zero points. <laughs> got to be careful, I guess, wow. when you go to the next Yeah, you screen. should have told me when I started <laughs> that you only get three, because I was just like, eh, no points. Continue on with scoring, scoring and creatures. Scoring! 50 points. Game points each time you eat a gnat or defeat an owl. And game over. Oh, is this different than mine? Weird. Yep. 100 is. points mosquitoes give extra points and let you defeat owls for 20 seconds. Interesting. 25 points. Put my drink down. 25 points. Pulse slash pulse. Unused echolocation pulses become bonus points. 50 points reaching the end of the stage gives you bonus points. 100 points reaching the end of the cave gives you a bonus. Minus 50. On normal difficulty, you lose points for pulses after you have run out. Hey, Charles and Check. Welcome to the show. Late, but not, uh, not too late. We're still playing, so you're all good. Cave owls. These predators fly silently. They're the gray ones. Preventing you from distinguishing where they are without using echolocation. Oh screech God. owl, and like cave owls, screech owls make loud calls as they fly, allowing you to tell where they are even without echolocation. Gnat, it's kind of grayish. Um, not the biggest mouthful, but their food. Gnats give a lost life and send out a pulse from the crunch. <laughs> crunch. Mosquito, your favorite snack. Mosquitoes are crunchy, nutritious, and make you feel like you could take on the world. I'm actually getting points. It's unbelievable. But it is a very it's strategic. hard game. It's is strategic because it... you have to kind of memorize your path. As soon go as, as you go into go the Go as cave. far as you think you can go and then use your pulses. Oh. I hate, hate, Got hate these type of games. <laughs> I hate them so much. Aww. Dark games? Oh my god, I hate them. <laughs> but somehow, I'm actually doing okay. Ah! Is it randomly? Um, totally randomly generated. It looks. It looks like Ow. it's randomly generated. <gasps> well, at least you can see that. <sighs> hate, hate dark games. <laughs> it's terrible, uh. terrible, the worst ever. What was it? Nine seventy-five. Arena foot. <laughs> Got to get some scoring in here. I think it was nine something. Nine hundred. Yeah, it's unforgiving. 975, thank you very much. Um, unforgiving about lives. Like, three hits to a wall or an enemy? Well, that guy's jumping around. He's not even in the maze. No, it's so unfair. <laughs> He's just like, so how do you, yeah. So, so unfair. I think I got just a lot of, oh, there you go. Are you, like, invulnerable? No. 
No. Just, I can, uh, you can kill the owls or whatever. I can kill the owls. screeching owls. Uh, the mosquitoes. I'm gonna get. Ah! 200! It's <laughs> interesting, though. It is. I mean, the bird animation's really nice. The gnats are made of three pixels, and they're perfect. 200. Oh, oh. Get it? Oh. Get it? Oh. That's kind of random. Well, it's it's a DVD logo. <laughs> ah, it is! Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Bouncing around. Oh. oh, come on. Oh, 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 get it, get it. Oh, yes. There you go. Points. Yay, points. This is the hardest. Oh, get Oh. Oh, I almost got oh him. Oh, my God. Can it's you okay. kill him when you're yellow? Apparently. Yes. Makes you feel like you can take on the world. Yes. Oh, you're getting points. All right. Somewhere around there. 500. Good job. Nice. I think after a while you kind of get the hang of it. Oh. Yeah, do not bump into walls. Wow. Like, that's the worst thing you can do because oh you do get a life back you do oh okay okay oh jeez careful 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 i'm trying careful. i'm trying to not use up my it's hard i usually ended up with zero or one uh, oh you're still oh you i got, got him <gasps> huge points yeah. huge points mr fix says go ten you go <laughs> Ooh, thousand Nice. Oh, yeah. It's tight. Careful. You do get 50 for Shoot. finishing ah. the level. Ah. Oh. If you don't have a mosquito right before you get on that screen, you're kind of screwed. Cause... You're very screwed. Yeah. Because you, you can barely maneuver. Like, yeah. see, he just went down that whole corridor as an angle. So he can, yeah. he'd kill you anywhere in there. Yeah. And you could do nothing. It's it's kind of random luck, but it's very cool. It's very cool. Yes. Uh, no. You're done? <laughs> I'm done. No I, more. I'm, I'm good with it. We it's have, very cool, we have a few more. but it's it just not cool. my favorite genre is mm. dark games. There's mm. another one that somebody made, a homebrew in Batari Basic. I think Arena Foot might know what I'm talking about. Made by mm. Member Atarian. <laughs> and it's like... And you're like this girl, and you've got a flashlight, and you're jumping around a maze. Oh, yeah? So frustrating. Yeah. It's so frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. I have never put it on the show, because I would just rage quit <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Maybe so... you should put it on the show. I want to oh, see my that God. happen. <laughs> yeah. It, it's very jumpy. Yeah. It's, it, like, I mean, the, the screen, I don't know mm. if it'll work on actual oh, hardware. Oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you can reset by doing that oh tardy vox enhanced that came up very cool um so joyride Joy is next okay what is joyride about joyride it isn't easy being a world famous daredevil the fans always expect something better than the last time <laughs> yeah. and you'll have to complete compete with rivals who want the fame all to themselves mm. this will show them plague not plague no 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 it has um heavy metal music and it's named after a heavy metal band or a heavy metal song. It's 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 this, it's the right guy, the guy who did Plague. But it's the other one where it's just a girl jumping around in a, and you only see the outline. Um, okay, how to play? Dart and weave through traffic as death defying daredevil, or compete against a rival in two player mode. Oh, okay. Use a joystick or gamepad to avoid uh, move and avoid traffic. If you crash, the game is over. Grab up to three flares by touching them, then press fire to shoot a flare and clear all the traffic off the road. Mm. 10 points per second, staying alive. 100 points, grab a flare. Strategies. Keep moving. Don't be afraid to move forward or weave around traffic. Cooperate. The game isn't over until both players crash, so work together. Use flares. Don't hesitate to use a flare. There will be plenty more. The goal of Joyride is to have the higher, high, higher score than your opponent. The game continues until both players crash. Fear, fear of the dark. That is what it's Ooh. called. Fear of the dark. See, I, definitely had something to do with 
dark. It's so frustrating. I just, I just can't play it. It's bad. It's bad news. That's a flare, I guess. Yeah. 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 Ooh. My goodness, uh, those Charles and, guys. Charles and Czech beat you to it, Arena Foot. But yes, that's the, that's the game. It's got a, oh. it's got music playing throughout it, so it's that's kind of cool in that. If um, if it wasn't so dark, like if it was just a little bit dark or it flashed a little bit, and it and it wasn't so bad, then it would oh, <laughs> hard to get the flares. Well, yeah, you can move forward. I keep <clears> forgetting you can do if that. If one player remains oh. alive, crashed players will respawn after ten seconds. So you kind of revive your other player if um, if you can stay alive. Oh, you got one flare. That'll help you. Two now. Each player can have up to three flares at a time. Keep in mind that one player's flare will benefit oh. the other player just as much. Players could work together by fly firing their own flares to help the opponent out of a jam or hoard all the flares. Oh. So their opponent has no way out of a tight spot and is more likely to crash. That's when... Could have used one, but if you had one. Uh -huh. I did not have one. The Daredevil's score is displayed in red, and the rival's score is displayed in blue. At the end of the game, the final scores of both players will alternate alternately be displayed. This guy likes the word alternately. Alternately. Alternately? Alternately. Alternately. <laughs> that word doesn't make any sense. Alternately displayed. If the score flashes yellow, the game ended in a tie. So... Oh, oh, oh you got to use it. Good. Whoa. That purple one is fast uh, and no. big. Uh, Are they all constant speeds in each lane? Uh, I think it looks like no. it. No. Sometimes they speed up? Yeah, because the yellows were really fast in one turn. Here, have a, have a go. Have it's a, a go. pretty quick game because you just, <laughs> it's like, ah. and dead. Stay and out of start that over. lane. Like, there's no, there's no lives. It's just one oh, round. Oh, it's one? One round in your score as far as you can make it, and uh, that's it, pretty much. So the blue lane is the slow lane. Yeah. That purple lane is bad the news. The purple lane is very bad So news. stay right out of the purple lane. Yeah. And I'd stay in the red lower half. Yeah. More but, so. But doesn't it seem sometimes that they get they do get faster? I don't um, know. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's just so. the rel how they look relative to each other. They look about the same speed. Yeah used a flare yet. Let me try that now. Flares are different colors. Ooh, there's another one. Whoa! That purple one is like... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll play one more and then we'll play two player and sure. see how two that player is. Sure, two player would be, be actually a little hectic because you're <laughs> weaving around each other too, right? Yeah, trying to remember who's who. Yeah. This is the lane to be in if you can stay in yeah, this lane. Yeah, but often there are a lot of small blue ones in a row. That's, that's true. Like there. Yeah. Okay, let's plug in the second joystick. <laughs> See how it goes. Sorry for getting in your face, camera. Everybody out there. Okay, let's do two player. That should be it. Yep. Which am I? Ah, green. Stay alive. Stay alive. Ten seconds. Stay alive. Alive. There we go. Thank you. Ah! Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. Use your flare if you need it. Is it one flare? I thought you need to get three. No, just one. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Why? Am I doing so terrible? It's funny. It's a joint score, though. Oh. 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 Okay, let's see if I can actually play for more than five seconds now. And we're both... <laughs> both dead. 30. Don't even write that one down, Arena Foot. No. That was just a yeah. waste. Abysmal is the term. Abysmal. Oh. I do like the cooperative. Yeah, I like that cooperative element. There's not a lot of two-player Atari games that are cooperative. And not in that way. Oh, oh it's so you hard. You know what? It's hard when you have the two figures there, too. It is. But we were in the same horizontal plane, which doesn't help. No. So we should definitely move out of the way. And you kind of oh missed it. Uh, can you can you use my flares? Because we nope. share them. Nope, I can't. Really? Mine are on the right, I think. Oh. Ah. Could help me out. 
<laughs> I guess the city is the black shadowy um, parts in the background. Yeah. Stay alive. Yay! I'm back. And dead. You should be doing a lot better than me. Uh, That's for sure. Well, I got a little bit of... Hi, Atari. Okay, bring me back. There we go. Ah. Ah! You move the exact same speed. Oh. So if you miss it... Stay alive! Stay alive! I've got a flare, so... Oh, Two flares. Atari, you're not helping things. <laughs> ah. ah, you got... Oh. That's how you use the flares. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, what? No, I still have one. Okay. Good. Atari. Oh, good. Now we both have... Both have a saving one. Ah. Are we losing points? No. Oh, it's going back and forth. Oh, we do have separate points. Do we? It's not a combined score. Oh. It's flashing oh. back and forth. Oh, now I'm out of flares. Ah! Oh, so close. Oh, the background changed colors. Oh, cool. So Hi, 9, buddy. 10, and 1250. So 12. Hi, um, no, they didn't make it work with paddles because you can move left and right. <laughs> the Only the, the other game. This is, this is good with... With two players. Uh, this is lots of fun with two players. So I don't know who got the 1250 and who got the 910. I, I think can I guess. did. I think I did. You pretty, did better that time. I did uh, better that time. Yeah, you oh, did do better. Oh, just that revived uh, me just uh, in time. Uh, I have a flare. Ooh, two flares. This is like all those um, first person shooters where you can go over to the other player and revive them. Except this is auto revive. You're not really reviving the other person. Oh, oh I was too your low. tire caught on it. Yeah, sometimes you, yeah. It's still, still pretty good. The controls are pretty good. Yeah, the controls are really good yeah. in this game. Ah! Oh! Sorry, reset it. That's okay. Oh, your tire can just skim it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, left and right. Oh. oh. Yeah, sorry. If um, yeah, if it was just up and down, then you'd be able to use the paddles. But it's a left and right, which is very essential, actually, in this game. Because you are dodging. <sighs> Stay alive. Get that. Oh, don't get it. <laughs> get that. Yeah, it is very essential. You move left and right. It wouldn't work very well with just up and down. the flare bring me back, or is that coincidental? Is uh, it... No, it brings you back in a flare, oh, I think. Oh! Yeah. So that helps you out, too. Yeah. Well, because otherwise... Oh, shoot. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. half buried in Mathern's home, Homebrew Companion, Volume 1. That just came in today. Oh, did I die? Oh, we both died. <laughs> yeah, he puts out some good books with good info. Oh, jeez. And, um... Very helpful right. when you want to buy, um, or you want to download, or buy some homebrew. Easy come, easy go. Oh, oh I just barely stayed alive there. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, dead you again. Give me, ah! You didn't give me much, much time to move there. Want some cat petting time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Are we playing again? One more. Okay. Oh. oh flare too. Oh, that was close. It's like um, Frogger, like the bottom oh. half of Frogger. I'm getting panicky now. <laughs> <laughs> Except you can never get out of the freeway part of the Frogger. <laughs> no, it's you're just what stuck it's like. on the freeway the whole time. Mm -hmm. And it would be, without the flares, this game would be impossible. It would be so hard. Well. They'd have to make the um, vehicle smaller. Or slower. But the flare adds a lot, a big, huge dimension to the game.
kind of start mirroring each other's because there is one kind of good good path, really. Mm -hmm. Yes, hopefully you can um, oh, make geez. it to an expo one of these days. <sighs> Kitties. Um, oh, oh. Atari Age booth at PRG, yes. So Arena Foot will have his books at Portland Retro Gaming Expo at the Atari Age booth. Oh, oh good. good. Okay, ready for the next game? Mm hmm Okay, let's go back to single player for the first. So Fixer Phoenix Sr. Mm. And let me read my anecdote that I got out of the forums on this. Um, why this game was... Um, no, is no longer available on cartridge and probably will never be unless they get rid of this game out of it. Hi. Yes, you're very cute. Yes, you are. Um, so, uh, Cyber, Cyber G on April 28th, 2015, uh, he posted to inform everyone Pinata has been taken out of production. Unfortunately, professional concerns over some of Pinata's content compelled me to ask Al to discontinue sales. I've uploaded the latest version of the ROMs as well as a PDF of the manual to this topic's first post. I kept the 105 ROMs on the first post as well in case people prefer playing the pre-cart versions of the games. There were some significant modifications to some of the games. Hopefully everyone who wanted a cartridge got one already. Thank you for your support. So I am guessing it's because of this game. He didn't outright say it. But it does make sense that this was kind of close. To, a little too close to fix it, uh, Felix Jr. The, uh, the game, because it, it is pretty much the game um, that they showed in the, in the video game. And, and they have since made that into an actual real licensed game and put it out. Can't remember what platform it's out on. You did it. You figured it out, eh? Sort of. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember a lot of people actually made different versions of this game for different platforms. Gotcha. And then I guess somebody thought, hey, people actually want to play this game. Let's make it for real. Um... I thought somebody actually made this game. Several versions of the game were released. Two online versions. Oh, an Apple see. iPod, app, iPad, iPhone. So, Apple version. And a basic fun mini arcade and promotional arcade cabinet. At the beginning of a game, Ralph... Oh, actually, I'll just read actual manual for this. I'm not going to read the other version. <sighs> cat fluff everywhere. Why would that be cat? Oh my goodness. Oh no, Wrecker Ron is at it again. He's climbed the small town tower and is breaking all the windows. <laughs> it's up to Fixer Phoenix and his magic hammer to fix it. How to play. At each stage, Wrecker Ron climbs a tower and breaks windows. You play as Fixer Phoenix Sr. Move Phoenix using a joystick or gamepad. While in front of a broken window, press fire to repair it. Make sure you grab any pies left out for you. Wrecker Ron may not be a bad guy, but he does have a temper. Watch out for bricks he knocks down. Being, being hit by a falling brick or a duck will cause you to lose a life. If you lose three lives, the game is over. Oh, come on. <laughs> 25 points for repairing a window. 50 points for uh, repairing all the windows in a stage. 100 points for repairing all windows in a tower. I guess, I guess. Oh, it's a tower. Yeah. Like, you go up levels, I guess. 100 points for each life. 100 points a life if you eat a pie. Have you found a pie yet? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Um, window indicator. Uh, window indicator's on the bottom left. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Scores in the middle. Bottom right is lives remaining. Uh, pie is a little little thing in a window. Mm -hmm. and there's ducks. And there's a brick that he's throwing mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keep going from there. Mm -hmm. Description. 
Ducks, brick, where? No, oh, there. Window indicator? Yeah. yeah. The window indicator displays which windows are fixed on the floor Fixer Phoenix is standing on. The indicator will turn red if Phoenix is in front of a broken window or green if the window is already fixed. Ah. Does he break windows? No. Um, you after? got a pie there. Uh, so, so when you're fixing the window, there's you a slight can't do delay, anything. and so that's when you oh. can, that's when you get hit by things. Right. Yeah. So make sure there's no ducks coming did you for you. Did you do the score? Uh, yes, you did. Yeah. Bottom right, I didn't talk about whatever that is. Yeah. No, that's done. Okay. Yeah. And two player mode, I'm guessing, it just back and forth. So. Yeah. Not a lot of point in that. Yeah, and it just keeps going. Uh, run. Yeah. Oh. Whatever side he's on, you want to be on the other. That's basically <laughs> looking for windows. Yeah. yeah. And waiting until he moves over. Can you fix it more? Some no. of them are different. Like, look at that and that. Yeah, but I, I, it that? doesn't make any difference from what I can tell. No. You can't fix it again. It's weird. Maybe it shows that you did fix it and Maybe. ones you did and ones you didn't fix. I don't fix. know. No. Pie. Ah. Ah. So he kind of straddles two windows, usually. Like, he can't go here. He's kind of over on the two on the right. Yeah. So there's one. There's one. I like, I like him. I like him when he's mad and running around <laughs> and throwing bricks. It's pretty cute. It is very cute. So these are all... Oh, one more. One more. Good job. Do you, do you understand the window indicator bar? Not completely on the left, because some are a little different. Like that one's, that one looks different than this one. Like, but they're both fixed. Why is? I knew it. So is it based on the level? Ah, is it based on how high you up? I don't know. You're up. Yeah, don't quite get that, but. Go again. Are you done? I died. Yep. Oh. Go. Sure. It's okay. The game? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, uh, compared to Heartbreak, which I really liked, and um Well, they're basing it off the movie, the game with the movie. Oh I know, movie, but there's and it, that's it's all a they show. A little overly simplistic. Yeah. It's really simplistic. Simple. Bye. So no, we don't understand the window indicator bar. Why is it different on different windows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't think it really s explains that. The window indicator displays which windows are fixed on the floor. Uh, Fixer Phoenix is standing on. The indicator will turn red if Phoenix is front of a broken window or green if the window is already fixed. Not moving fast enough here. Oh, I see now. So you, if you're on a floor, you can tell instantly which one is broken by the missing piece. Oh. So they're all done on that one. That one's the middle right. Gotcha. Oh, now we get it. Yep. So much faster. You can go right to it. So the bottom three left are totally broken. Bottom, yeah. Oh, where did uh, I go? There? Square, 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 blank, blank, square, square, square. <laughs> <laughs> Those left three squares are left three big. Green is f fixed in. Fix fizzed in. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make sense, but yeah, reading it now and um, makes a lot more sense. So it's a lot faster to get out of there to find the ones that are broken kind and of. which ones are. F it's a still a little weird because of the spacing is not. It's a little hard to see which. Yeah, like you have to think about it <laughs> a little. If there's two in a space in the middle, that's really easy because it's the middle one that's broken. But if there's two. Yeah, I was two, forgetting you can hit sure. down two. Get out of there. I know. If there's two, it's not you're not really sure if it's the left or the right one that's fixed because it's it's just it's not separated enough. Ah! Or, oh. They should have well, that's the best they could do. If they made them two separated, then you would definitely not know. <laughs> yeah, you have to pretty much wait for that for him to completely go over there. If there was a time limit, I think that would really add a lot to it. Mm. Because you can just sit there. Unless the ducks get faster. 
on higher levels, mm -hmm. which they might. So far, the ducks are not getting any faster. And, uh, and why are the ducks flashing when you're on the same level when as the ducks? When you're on the same line. There's absolutely no need for that. Because you're one sprite and the ducks are the other sprite and there's nothing else on that line. I'm sure the bricks that um, Ron <laughs> is dropping are not player sprites. Like, why would they make them player sprites? So somebody, whoever programmed this, eh, it could have done a little bit better with that. I'm sure this was done in, um, well, not whoever did this, the guy who did this whole thing. Um, yeah, he could have done a little bit better with that. I mean, it's not distracting. The flashing's not that bad. But it's unnecessary, as far as I can tell, because the whole, the whole screen is done with the player field. And you're a player, Sprite. The uh, Ron at the top is two, because you you never go up there. So he can be a wide a wide um, wide sprite taking up two, so he can be sixteen across. Oh, that's a Batari basic limitation. One point zero only has player one and player two, but still, there's not three things on a line, so there shouldn't be flicker. The duck is player one, and ooh, that was good. That was a hard one to get through. Mm -hmm. The Ducks player, well, player zero and player one, they count up from zero. But what is, so why why would there ever be need to be Flicker? It's very, very strange. He must have made the bricks. No, because it stops flickering. I don't know. I don't know. It's made with an early implementation of Atari Basic, I'm guessing. And it's just, couldn't do it. Still, still very good. Kicking ass this time. <laughs> wow. it's, it doesn't get much harder, right? It doesn't get any harder. Ron doesn't get any harder. The only time I saw it harder was when all, all three ducks came in a row. Yeah, that was true. And that's it. It's not faster. More broken windows doesn't make it any harder. No, it, it does make it cha more challenging in the sense that it, it takes, takes more longer. time. But that's not really... Because you get points. It's just like having a never-ending level. Get out of there. Yeah. So it just... It, I don't think a lot of work was put into this one. No, it doesn't look that. Oh, it looks fine. Just that flashing and there's no scaling of difficulty. Ralph is player zero. Everything else needs flickering player one. Oh, is it? No. Let me look. No, because when you're not on the same level as a, a duck, ah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> just doesn't make any sense to me. It's just uh, the way Atari Basic 1.0 handled it. Because it's not flickering between the two ducks. It's flickering between you and the duck. So the duck is player zero and Ralph is player zero. Or not Ralph. Um, no, uh, that's Ralph. Felix. Felix is the, <laughs> is the hammer dude. And Ralph is the top. Um, so they're pretty much making Ralph or um, Felix and the duck player zero and nothing player one when you're in the same line line as the duck. It's just bizarre. Oh. Uh. You got smacked. You got uh. extra lives. Oh my goodness, what's happening? You're giving up. No, he keeps going back and forth. <laughs> he's, maybe he's That's dropping okay. the bricks faster. Uh, he he's moves? jumping back and forth more because at one okay. point it would be like all on one side and all on the other and he was kind of bouncing so that's okay i'm gonna i'll be right back oh yeah okay <laughs> um so the last one is flip side and let me read about that one flips let me just load it up there we go and this 
hopefully is a two player. Oh, it is. Excellent. This one is going to be fun. So I'm glad it's actually last on the list. Zen, the interdimensional inter overlord, has locked you and a companion in a pocket dimension where you must compete for his amusement. The very laws of physics bend for Zen's pleasure. Can you survive? It's X E N for Zen. 3325. Yeah, 10 did really well. Your goal in Flipside is simple collect four power orbs. Whoever collects four orbs is declared the match's winner. Losing a match ends the game. Move with a joystick or gamepad. Flip gravity with the fire button. Defeat your opponent with the greatest speed you can muster. If your opponent has any power orbs, you will then steal away one for yourself. If your opponent has any power orbs, you will then steal one away for yourself. But be cautious, your opponent can steal from you too. Interesting. Okay, yes. go for it. Play so, it. You missed all doing? the instructions. Nope, not going <laughs> to tell you. Get the dots. Gravity games. I oh. love gravity games. Oh, you're just flipping back and forth. Gotcha. How did you get two? You just started playing. I don't know. Maybe you accidentally, accidentally? landed on one. <laughs> What's this other guy doing? He's going to kill you. He's going to kill me? He's coming to get you. He's not very good. <laughs> well, AI is challenging in... Oh, you oh gotcha. I see. AI is challenging in Atari. 2600. Don't have a lot of room for. What? It flips sides. Yeah, you have to press the button to flip. No, the the what thingy flipped? flips sides. It moved. Yes. Oh, it moved. You took too long. Took too long. Oh, oh he stole one. He steals stole them. Stole another one. <gasps> you didn't tell me that. You said he killed me. Oh, no, he's stealing things. I didn't understand what it was. Uh, if your opponent has any power orbs, you will steal one away from your... You will then steal one away for yourself. But be cautious, your opponent can steal them too. Well, how do I win or lose? You get four. Four? I, and you have three. What do I have to do to get the fourth one? You have to steal it from him. How do I steal it from him? I guess land on his head. Oh. I don't know how he... Oh, no, it appears. It appears. It. But I jumped on his head. <laughs> That's not fair. I don't know how. It doesn't really say how you... They just appear. Oh, here it is. Strategies. Move. Standing still gives your opponent to steal your orbs. Strike. Push the charge. If there's no new power orb, go after your opponents. Lure. Try to trick your opponent into narrow spaces where you can strike. So maybe you land on his head? Did you, did you, were you able to land on his head? I think I did that once. Avoid. If you have everything to lose, try to avoid your opponent. Well, he has no orb, so you can't take anything from him at the moment. So I wouldn't even touch him. Well, yeah, he's... You're just hanging around until another one comes out. There you go. Oh, you got him. Yeah. Yeah, you did land on his head. <laughs> He didn't have any orbs, but uh, you got him. Uh, the goal for the two-player mode is to have a higher score than your opponent by the end of the game. The game lasts for five matches on normal difficulty and nine matches on hard difficulty. The red score is displayed in blue, and the blue score is displayed in the red score is displayed in red, and the blue score is displayed in blue. At the end of the game, the final scores of both players will be alternately displayed. If the score flashes yellow, the game ended in a tie. So, kicking his ass? Too easy? Ready for a human compo a uh, component? Have you been playing this? No. Uh, barely. Barely. He does move around. Yeah, he does move quick. No, I mean the... the, the... Oh, the thing? Yeah. Is it moving fa faster now? It plays forever. Does it? Yeah. Never There's ended. no end to one player. Oh. Ready? Yeah. No, pick up the joystick. We're playing. Yeah, but... You're resetting, right? Yep. Ready? Oh, you did you steal it? No, mm -hmm. I killed you. Or you killed yourself. I had two. 
I you took have yours. two. Oh, you did take I mine. I did. Oh, you took mine. Okay, mine's on the. My score is on the right. Yes, I, I know. I understand. I'm telling them. Yeah. <laughs> and Tanya's is on the left. Stay away from me. Uh, I guess there's only four total. Is there? Oh, you got it back. Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 you get me. Na, 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 na. Oh. <laughs> oh. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Hey! Ah! Hey! <laughs> that wasn't fair. <laughs> where am I? <laughs> I don't know. Where are you? <laughs> Hiding. Yes! Oh. oh, another one appeared. Maybe there are more than just, um... No, there are more than four. Okay. You don't have to steal it from me. More will show up over oh, okay. time. Okay. Good. <gasps> You got, you got it back. Something disappeared. Something did disappear. One of our things disappeared. That's terrible. What happened? Must have been like something all coordinated together and it got confused. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, what? Did you just get <laughs> one accidentally? Maybe. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Four. This just goes on adding. No, five rounds. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, you stole it. What the hell? No, that's not right. You know what? I'm just like running around like a crazy person right now. <laughs> I don't know. You got. F oh, I got one. Oh, you got it off of me, you bastard. Yep. Got it again. Did you? Yep, got it again. Well, <laughs> it's kind of weird because it depends on how you hit the other person, yes. I find. Your feet have to touch them. But I kind like of, that. yeah, I guess, you know what? I'm like kind of randomly just hitting things, which, ah. is, which is a problem. Yes, you are. I'm not really paying attention to Be my strategic. orientation. Oh, oh. <sighs> this is one of the best two-player games <laughs> on the 2600. Declare it right now. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, it is fun. We need more dots. Yeah, I know we do. Send us more dots. Zen Master. <laughs> Oh, now you've got two. <laughs> that is not allowed. <gasps> oh, see, I flipped. I should be hitting you. Twelve ninety. Hit <sighs> I don't want to play. What? One more. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not playing very Get well. Get better. Get better. <laughs> oh, shut up. We have three now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Red wins. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a fun game. <laughs> it's fun when you're winning. <laughs> it is. Get out of here. It's mine. My dot. Oh, you got it off of me. <laughs> Oh, come on. That is cheating. Stay out of my house here. Ah! Because <gasps> we touched legs. It's I think it's a 50-50 chance when that happens. Yeah! Oh, I think it's 50-50 when that happens. I, I think it depends on who has more momentum. Yeah? Yeah. See? I killed but you But you there. got me, and I don't, I don't understand it. Maybe it is 50-50. Kill the dot. 
Ah! Ah! Give me. Give me that dot. Give me that dot. <laughs> I am doing better this time. Yes, you are. Ah, get out of here. Can't hurt me in here. Can you? Try, uh, try No, I would be hard. I, I don't think I could. Just try Come in here. No, I can't. I can't. You have to fall on someone. Come in here. I want to see. You can only win. Come in here. Nope. Safety. <gasps> That's a safety zone in here. Well, yeah. Safety. <laughs> <laughs> safety. <laughs> I'm safe. Get out of here. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. Safety. No. Now I have to wait for you. Come on. Oh! oh! That's good strategy. That's a good room. I swear we were in this room already. Ah, we have been. I don't know how many unique rooms are, but. Oh. What? Yeah. What just happened? You appeared in the same spot, so. Oh gosh, I'm oh, getting we confused. We lost one. How did that happen? I don't know. They just... Oh, you got me. I think you won three out of five. Yep. That was fun. That was better. It was more balanced. The first yes. round didn't go so well. <laughs> that is one of the best two-player games. Yeah. If you want a good <laughs> competitive two-player game, yeah, the AI good. is not great. Um, Actually, that's the well, easy mode. Well, you know mode. what? The, the, the AI is good for learning how to play the game. I'm going to change it to hard mode. For the AI. You're gonna, yeah, you play around. The, the AI just kind of jumps around. Uh, yeah, you think so. Ooh. Are you blue that or red? That was uneasy. I'm You're red. You're red. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. Get out of here. Oh, I have to get him. Yeah, you do. He's going to jump on your head. Not if I jump on his. Come on. Come on. He goes for the dots really quick. Oh, I got him. Yeah. Ooh, good job. One more. One more. Yeah. Good job. Nice. He's fairly relentless getting the dots. He'll he'll go for a dot. Good job. Oh, good job. More dots. Keep jumping on his head. I need more dots. One more. Good spot. They all appeared there. Gives you a bit of a head start. He pauses for a bit there. It's fairly aimless when there's no dot. He kind yeah. of bounces around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like random movement to see if he runs into you. Yeah. It's not that challenging. Ah. It's not not challenging the way of oh. a, a, another human being. Oh god, no. I have nothing to lose, so now I do. <laughs> no! Oh no! What? Where am I? You're there. There, there, there you go. go. Stuck in a wall. <laughs> yeah, you can see their little feeties when you're, when you're on the edge. <laughs> yes. So cute. Yeah. Feeties. Oh, <laughs> <feeties. laughs> oh no! Stealing from you. Not for long. I'll get him. <gasps> oh god. Yeah, it's dangerous. I gotta get that one. One more. Got it. Nice. Him. Good job. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah! was convenient and this will be the last round because it just goes forever oh yeah on and on and on. <laughs> turbo, <laughs> turbo buttons on oh that's funny <laughs> oh oh he's fairly clueless
go. One more. Oh, we stole one. Oh, you bastard. We need it back. Nice. There we go. Good job. Yay! Fun game. Very that fun one's game. Really, 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 really good. There we go. So that was Pinata. Mm -hmm. So if it was available in the store, that would be a very good purchase because there's some. The bike one. Oh, they're all really, the they're all player. really good. I think the only well, one the that fix, is, is the fix it, whatever Felix. It's not or, bad. It's I mean, just it's really... fine. It's very simplistic. That's all. But oh, it was on easy games. mode, too. But it even wasn't... if it wasn't, it's it's a simplistic game. Yeah, there's yeah. not much yeah. to it. I like the heart one. I'd like to play that some more because that that would strike me as the levels go up. It get, yeah. probably get really really challenging. So. Yeah, that was already challenging. The, trying to think of color combinations um, and. The bat one? Oh, no. It was the okay. The bat one's hard, but as you say, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. That genre? It's funny because it flashes up and you're just like, okay, sear into my retina so I <laughs> yes. know where I'm going kind of thing. Memorize map it's a, quickly. It's interesting. It's yeah. an interesting game. And I can see, you know, once, Some you, people might like once that. you practice it and get into it, you, you've got to... Oh, did you? No, no, yeah, it's never fine. mind. Um, but yeah, once you practice it and get into it, yeah. Yeah. It'd, it'd, be, more, it'd be fun. Um, the joyride, joyride was pretty awesome good. with two players. Yeah, one yeah. player, eh, it's okay. Yeah, two players fun. Two player. Yeah, a lot of good two player games. Yep, flip side, awesome two mm -hmm. player. That's right up there. So Pinata was super super great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I definitely recommend uh, downloading that one. It's in the Atari Age forums. Um, <gasps> Atari's back! Yay! Hey buddy! And uh, Air Taxi is a good start. Really yeah. good start. Yeah. Yep. So I hope that Kyle, Kyle Aaron sees Kyle this. Kyle Aaron, maybe? Kyle, Kyle Aaron. Maybe. Kyle Aran? 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 I don't know. Probably Kyle, and then something. Yeah. <laughs> so was, their name's probably Kyle. Um, yeah, so I hope they continue on or somebody continues on with that. Because mm -hmm. um, there's, to get it to the point he got it to, it's not too much there. You've got a play field. You've got a guy. You've got your taxi. Mm -hmm. Up, down, left, right. There's lots of examples, I think, of, mm. of momentum um, programming. And then just collision with the play field. Um, now landing, that'll be a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. And adding on, but where he got it to. Um, you could probably do that fairly quickly if you're a pretty decent programmer. So hopefully somebody makes that game. Mm -hmm. It's if even if you've never played Space Taxi before, I think somebody looking at that game and playing Air Taxi or whatever somebody names it would be um, a really really popular one. Yeah. Um, so that's it for this mm -hmm. uh, this week. We'll be back on Wednesday with Erlen. Um, before we go off to the Portland Retro Yay! Gaming Expo, oh, I'm so excited. On, uh, so we won't be here on Friday. We're going to try and stream on Saturday. And that is completely dependent on if there's any Wi Fi. I doubt it. And how good Maybe. the cell signal is within the building, which may be not so it's, good. It's, it's, yeah. Maybe okay. If it's not good, we'll just be recording some footage of stuff and then piecing it together and showing it when we come back. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. But hopefully the, the the cell reception is good and we can do some live streaming of some homebrew displays and homebrew games that are there. Mm -hmm. um, but at, at minimum, you'll be um, taping and recording. And, yeah, yeah, recording going things. Around, so. yeah. And of course, recording yeah. interviews um, yeah. as well. And we'll yeah. package those up and post those oh it's atari mm -hmm. hi are you coming with us to portland no somebody's gonna take care of you he would like to he would love i don't know if he'd like to go on a car ride I don't would know. you be a type of cat that would relax maybe he would he would love all the people though oh he would he would be friends with everyone so. arena foot no you won't miss a show on friday so there's no show next friday there is a show on wednesday mm -hmm. um and there may be a live stream on saturday and then we'll be back the next Wednesday. Yes. With Erlen again. With Erlen. Yeah. Um, so um, make sure you subscribe and to Twitch and YouTube and all the things and follow everywhere Instagram, Facebook, so you can get up to date um, little news and when things are happening. And um, 
Yeah, I'll probably update while we're in Portland as well mm -hmm. of things, taking pictures of stuff. Oh, you start your vacation on Wednesday, Arena Foot. Awesome. So you will be here on a Wednesday show. <laughs> Usually he's not uh, able to be here for Wednesday oh, shows. Oh, nice, nice. So that's, that's really good. Yeah. And uh, when we get back the next Wednesday, uh, if you look... Actually, ne this coming Wednesday, we're going to be playing Zippy the Porcupine. Because mm. um, I have a, a boxed version can, of that. I can guess what game that is in the... Yep. I'm um, not a big fan of that game. No. I bought it because I thought it would be pulled from the store like all the other games that are ports. Similar, yeah. Big name ports, but it's yeah. still still there. Yeah, you know? good. So, but good. we'll be playing it. Maybe I'll learn to enjoy that game. <laughs> <laughs> and um, probably one or two other games that I haven't uh, uh, figured out just yet for Wednesday. Probably some mm -hmm. two, two, smaller, two smaller games. Cool. Um, and then when we get back after Portland Retro Gaming Expo, we have a Champ Games exclusive game. Hmm. <laughs> Unannounced Champ exclusive game. What could that be? Nobody knows. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Um, uh, it's an e early work in progress, so it's not a full game or anything. It's not like, oh, it's going to come out tomorrow. Um, but uh, that'll be a fun one to take a look at and get everybody cool. excited again. Yeah. I mean, um, because Champ is releasing Mappy at Portland Very Retro cool. Gaming yeah, Expo. Yeah. yeah. And he is demoing Wizard of War mm. at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, That's cool. which is like 99% done. Yeah, we're going to play that there. Yes. Yeah. Against, against uh, John Champo. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> or with John Champo. With it's a John cooperative. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Arena Foot doesn't even know. And I can't even remember what it is now. But yeah. <laughs> I remember it being something very, very, very cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it for special shows coming up. Oh, on the 31st. Actually, that's coming up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. We're having a Halloween show. Are we going to do that? Because it's on Halloween. Oh, nice. So that's Excellent. really cool. So we're going to be playing all Halloween-themed games. Yeah. Uh, we have um, Happy Halloween, uh, Candy Catcher. Level four of tire tracks, Elvira hack, and a monster's revenge hack. So, mm -hmm. not too many Halloween games are actually made homebrews. There's a couple hacks I had to throw in, but still Halloween themed. Yeah. So that's fine. And we'll have the video jack o' lantern demo running before the show goes. So it'll be up on the screen, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then of course in Christmas, which is months away, but getting pretty close. We'll be doing all uh, holiday-themed ones. And there's enough. Yes. Oh, to, I bet there are. To fill a couple Winter, weeks. Winter, Christmas, holiday. Yeah. Um, I'll probably... I don't know what time we'll do the Halloween one. Um, I have to figure that out. We'll figure it out because we don't want to... It's like a Tuesday? We never get trick-or-treaters for yeah. two reasons. <laughs> well, Nobody trick-or-treats around here. No. And we never put out anything. No. <laughs> To lead them to believe we that, have candy. We have candy, so that probably. So yeah. we, I, we will have pumpkins because we're doing a, a movie night. Yes. Previous to that. Yes. So maybe we'll get some candies. Oh, oh, they'll be candy. There's always candy. And I have a costume. Yeah. To scare children. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe we will. Yeah. So we might do it early. Um, a six o'clock show. Let's see, yeah, or do it a little. Well, yeah, later, later here. I, w it's we, always better. It's highly six. unlikely anyone's gonna ring our doorbell, so uh, you yeah, could probably really do it for us. We could do it any time. It's more the more yeah. about you guys, and it's Halloween. It's gonna be a very sparse night of <laughs> yeah. people showing up. Yeah, I think it's for a Friday. Us. No, it's not a Friday. It's like a Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Wednesday, so maybe people will be here and watch it because yeah. I don't know. See what people do on a. Halloween night. Yeah. Depends on where you are. So. <laughs> Arena Foot says it's huge where he is. He does a whole cemetery yard. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah send me pics of last year's. Yeah. I have a friend. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not that it's not a thing in it's Vancouver a web, or anything. Day. Web, yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a friend who's also goes nuts at Halloween. But it's just the neighborhood we're in. I don't know. It's there's a lot of kids here. Ah, uh, but it's a, more well, it's more urban, and so I think you know you don't get trick or treaters so much in a in a more urban neighborhood. So it's only urban because we're close to the city. Well, that's if you that's, looked around here and transplanted it somewhere else, it'd be like no. Nope, but it's no, is, it's more urban. It's not like a yeah. 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 We don't get and them. I don't know why. We, we don't complain. I don't think we've ever <laughs> all got, the candy for ourselves. Been here six years. And I don't think we've ever gotten one. 
No. No. Zero. No. Zero. No. Track record of zero. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. We eat all the candy yeah. ourselves. <laughs> we buy. We usually do buy. We candy. usually buy some just in case, because you never know. But we never advertise. And then we just eat it all. So, yeah. More candy for us. <laughs> Or bring it, bring it into work. That works too. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they'll eat it. They'll eat it. Um, so we'll see you. Uh, yeah, zero kids. <laughs> zero yeah. for six years. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. It's surprising, actually. It is. It's not that there aren't kids in the neighborhood. And it's our just... door doesn't look like a door either. Yeah. It looks like a back door to something. Yeah. So and that's probably doesn't help. There's many factors why kids don't come yeah. to our door. Yeah. Um, so we'll see you uh, next Wednesday, 6 p.m. with... Erlen and uh so we're done and thank you everybody for tuning in Arena yes Foot, thank you i supposed uh uh charles and check uh Gretums is in there, Gretums, mr. Fix. mr fix wade rain how is the poll did you check the poll did we uh the did poll, you run over the poll uh action, action one one out with 33 <laughs> percent everything else is kind of tied evenly uh nobody liked uh but I, shoot them up i thought uh someone wanted to renege their four and make it a one so that they would mean did. the platformer would, would kind of be second platformer would have won yeah because it would have taken away from yeah. the action yeah and nobody picked other which i guess yeah. i uh yeah. covered everything which is good yeah um who else Gratum's mr fix we said that um, Tiki Dan K. Tiki Dan K. And I think we got most of the people just scrolling through. Yeah. Because uh, somebody said once that reading out names of people that are watching but not yeah, talking. You mention it every single is, time. No, I've only mentioned that like once. <laughs> you know, it's very it a rude. Lot. <laughs> See, that's somebody I could I could name. Don't just leave it. Just leave it. It's all good. Because there's people who do talk sometimes. Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yeah. And uh, see you all next Wednesday. And um, if you missed anything, it'll be up on cho on YouTube mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow at the same time, um, 6 p.m. I usually upload it because of the rules of Twitch do not allow uploading within 24 hours um, because they want to keep their stuff there, obviously. They don't just want to host for free. Yeah. Yeah. They want to have some exclusivity. Yeah. Anyway. Um, or you can rewind it on um, Twitch, but the quality is better on YouTube for yeah. whatever reason. So Twitch, get your crap together. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we'll see you uh, next Wednesday. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. And uh, oh. Pixel says bye, too. Bye. Bye. Bye.